Next on the show, we catch up with a great guest, an old friend, been with us for a lot of years uh, based on a few different companies that he has run so exceptionally well, the next company steals him away. I mean, that's how that works in the business world. And uh, he's growing, pushing entertainment forward big time. Ladies and gentlemen, the CEO of Dish is none other than Joe Clayton, Super Joey. How are you, Joe? Hey, Dave. How are you today? <laughs> Happy New Year to you. And the same to you. We haven't seen each other in a little while and uh, delighted that we can uh, snag you off the show floor and your incredibly huge and busy exhibit where folks are learning all about Super Joey. Joey and all the cool stuff from Dish. Well, I got to tell you, Dave, uh, Dish, we're a company that we're disruptors. Yes. We're innovators. We most certainly are a consumer advocate, and we use technology to improve the viewing experience for the American consumer. And that doesn't always make us popular. Uh, no, it doesn't. With certain factions, perhaps not so uh, thrilled about your uh, <laughs> pushing that entertainment uh, envelope for us consumers. Uh, my regular listeners know that I am not only a, a dish customer and, and prominent dish user of every sort, uh, but delighted to always talk about there's no other way to watch television than with my Dish DVR, with my Hoppa. Your Hopper. I, I gotta say it, right, with the Hoppa. And uh, because other than live sports and news, that's it uh, as far as live television, as far as I'm concerned, because I've got so much stuff on my two terabyte hard drive Hopper that there's so many things to watch at my convenience. And yeah, if I want to zip through the commercials, that's what I want to do. And thank you for letting me do that. Well, you're welcome, and we're just pushing the envelope even further. Oh, but wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> First of all, how do you do that? You gotta. I, I won't tell anyone, but how do you know when the commercials are over? And boom, within two, three seconds, I'm back into my show. We're watching them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the primetime shows and all four <laughs> networks, and you got everything covered. But tell me what's happening these days with Dish. Well, you know, you mentioned Hopper. That was our, really uh, an example of our, the transformation we're going through at, at Dish. Mm -hmm. um, and the first uh, year was a couple of years ago, we introduced the Hopper, and it was at a cost-effective price. Sure. And affordability, all consumers are going to stand up and salute affordability. Second year, Hopper was slinging. We provided the consumer with mobility. They can take their content, uh, use it in the home or on the go. At this year's CES show, 2014, it's about ease of use. And we're expanding the experience for the, uh, for the Hopper customer. And I got a couple of examples here. The first one uh, is called a Super Joey. And what it basically does, when you... Uh, Use this with our Hopper, which has three tuners. The Super Joy has two. Mm -hmm. And with our prime time capability that we have, which we record, you know, the, the prime time network, uh, the uh, prime time anytime for the, during the evening mm -hmm. for the four major networks, you can record up to eight programs at one time. Jeez. Eight programs. As Dick Vitale would say, are you kidding me? Yeah, are you kidding me? <laughs> so <laughs> nobody can do that. Some people say I named it after myself, but I really didn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's the super joy. Uh, there you go. But now, what's cool about that is that I don't have to worry about, did I set that DVR? Because, oh, my God, this show on CBS, NBC, Fox, ABC, you've got it for me, and it's there, and I can just go back home, watch it at my leisure, and I don't have to set the DVR to get it. Exactly. You know what? And the broadcaster should be thank thanking me because they're getting more exposure to their primetime network uh, that they wouldn't uh, normally uh, be able to get. So, Well, on behalf of broadcasters, though not the TV ones, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know the consumer likes it. Yes. Now, uh, David, you probably know that Hopper really is a female, don't you? I, I have heard that. I that's learned that through you uh, yeah, a couple of years ago. Yeah. And that's why, you know, she's got her little joeys in her pouch. So... We are expanding the Hopper offspring uh, at the CES show with not only the Super Joey, we also have Virtual Joys, which eliminate box clutter. For example, we can uh, hook up uh, a Hopper with a uh, LG TV, um, smart TV. So you don't even need the Joey? You don't need the Joey at all. Whoa. And you can do it with the PlayStation 3 and 4s as well. Nice. So, um, so virtual joys are hopping around here nationwide. And last but not least, we have something called a wireless joy. Now, this is cool. So you this don't have to run any cables to those other rooms wireless now. No, no. I, as most people will find out, if you build a house, you buy an apartment, the coaxial cable 
is not next door. You want to put the TV. It never is. Never. Yeah. Never. <laughs> this, uh, you don't need coaxial cable uh, to hook it up. It's just, you plug it in, you can put it in your patio, you can put it in your garage. I don't know why you'd want it in your garage. Well, maybe you do a lot of tinkering in there and you the, don't want to miss it. There anything, you huh? go. <laughs> Bathroom, kitchen. So um, the Joey uh, offspring are everywhere. And this wireless Joey, how many can you put on a system? How many can the hopper handle? Uh, they, uh, two. Ah, okay. okay. So very cool. So you can still have other wired units, Exactly. Maybe, and then add a couple more? Well, you can, you can have a, an LG TV. Yeah. Sony PlayStation, your hopper, and a couple of, wire, of uh, wireless Joey's. Then you need a bigger house. Yeah, exactly. That's the other problem, because <laughs> now you're also adding bigger TVs, too. So, <laughs> so you need a bigger house anyway. Well, then what's next? What are you not doing that might happen into tomorrow? Well, I think our, most of our focus uh, going forward is, you know, the pay TV market is a mature business, Dave, and it's saturated. And for, to, for us to grow, we've got to, uh, you know, steal market share. Yeah. We've got to take market share. Um, well, you're earning it. You don't have to steal it. No, well, that's exactly, <laughs> my best idea is I borrow, so that, I understand that. But what we in, indeed are doing is preparing ourselves to get into the wireless business going forward. And the, the, the way or the path to do that is to acquire spectrum. Uh, spectrum's like oil, gold, and water. You can't get enough of it. Yeah. And that is, as we get into 4K and Ultra HD, you're going to need more capacity, more spectrum to provide these new video services. So that's where uh, we are heading long term. So hopefully I'm hearing that uh, maybe those folks that are getting these new Ultra HD TVs, the 4K TVs, will also be able to have a source of Dish Network providing some content for us? Because that's the big thing. It's like, wait, I got the TV and nothing to watch. Well, you know, it's a chicken and egg thing, yeah. as, as it always has been, Dave. But we still have to get over some hurdles from a cost standpoint. I mean, people aren't just going to buy $5,000 television sets. Uh, that has to come down, I think, in the 1000 to $3,000 area. And remember, I'm an old TV box guy. Mm -hmm. And we have to have content. I mean, you just can't watch fish bowl. Fish is, you know, <laughs> swimming around the water. As nice and, as they are, you get tired of that. Well, that, you know, that's, <laughs> unless you got a, you know, a, a, a fishing hook and stuff. Um, <laughs> and then third, uh, once again, Spectrum, you're going to need more bandwidth to put up Ultra HD than you do HD. Sure. Now, the programmers and, and a, a distributor like ourselves are not going to put up one uh, Ultra HD channel at the expense of, say, 20 regular channels. It's not economical. Yeah. All of those factors have to come together before we really do have a, a business here. But I'll tell you, I'm very impressed with the picture quality. I can now... In a year and a half ago, I, I wasn't here, but I can see the difference between Ultra HD and HD today, and that's what the consumer is going to want to see. Dynamite. Well, if anybody can make it happen, it's our buddy Joe Clayton. So uh, <laughs> we know that we can expect continued awesome things from Dish. And thank you for spending a few minutes with us, and I'm glad we gave you a forced break off the show floor because you're just working it like crazy. Well, it's always <laughs> good to see you, Dave, and it's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you, Joe. Joe Clayton, the CEO of Dish. Dish.com, probably one of the easiest websites of all of CES to get to. And, of course, we'll link you there when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. We're back with more of our 19th year of CES here in Lost Wages, Nevada. I'm Dave Graveline. Into Tomorrow continues on the Advanced Media Network. Thank you.